Evening all. Oh, sounded like a policeman. <laughs> now, pull up a chair, a sofa or a chaise for the more loose amongst you. <laughs> Naughty. And focus, for I'm ready to impart my news. <laughs> Mum is running for local council and appointed Tilly as campaign manager. <laughs> Prepare for the policies. <laughs> Yes, a restraining order for the whole of Essex. No tracksuits in Waitrose. No, if you're wearing a tracksuit and you're not exercising, little. Tax breaks for anyone who marries this. But the big news, prepare. Gary has been dating and is now an item with a lovely girl called Rose. <laughs> Convincing face. Hey, babe, you ready? Hey, babe, you ready? <laughs> Sweet head. Miranda! <laughs> so, re Rose, I've decided to wait for it. I'm going to find me a boyfriend. Start playing the field. Yeah. Stevie and I tried a spot o field playing, but uh, it got competitive because it was a man in uniform. <laughs> Tonight it's girls' night in, but after that, watch out, men. Oh. <laughs> Indian banquet, the king of ready meals. Oh, Indian banquet. Yes. Nice. What's that? You want to switch the oven on and sort it all out? Oh, thanks, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Right, music. I'm feeling a Lionel. Come on and sing it all. All night long. All, all night. night. All, all night. night. Sorry, what other best friend do you have to organise your surprise birthday party? I'm organising it. You're organising your own surprise party. <laughs> Dress code comes what you wanted to be when you were younger. Nice. Hence the shop's new fancy dress stock. Clever Stevie. You're hired. Thank you, Sir Alan. <laughs> Your task to surprise me so I have a good reaction for the photo on the night. Oh, OK. So yeah. let's try it. Um, all your family have been pressed to death by a steamroller and bricked up in a nunnery. <laughs> that's not a surprise. That's ridiculous. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'll, I'll work on it. <sighs> right. <laughs> This one needs to go in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay. This one needs to go in the oven okay. for 15 minutes. Cream cones. Skiing doll. Indian banquet. <laughs> now, this dish is microwavable three minutes. That goes in 17 minutes after dish, dish one. one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night. We're in our mid 30s and we're doing some sort of curry exam. <laughs> Turtle mare porters. Put it down! <laughs> to get to a nightclub and go on the Pullingtons. Well, she's right. How are you going to get a boyfriend if we keep staying in? Sorry, you're, you're trying to get a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's possible. Well, you're going to have to go clubbing. No, because my future boyfriend won't be in a discotheque. He'll be a knight in shining armour, revealing himself purposefully. Speak <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. We're crashing something. Girls' oh, night. Oh, oh, can I No. <laughs> Listen, my hot water's still not working. Do you mind if we shower here? Oh, we could shower together. That would save water. No, unacceptable. <laughs> so, Kong, are you heading clubwards or...? Right, sweaty boyfriend, I will turn your cold shower hot. Ooh. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> what are you? Going clubbing? Well, it's wrong to deny men kindness, isn't it? You know, who wouldn't want a bit of this? Yeah. <laughs> you want a bit, want a bit of this. <laughs> I'm aware it's gone weird, camp, and slightly threatening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, scanning for men, they're everywhere. OK, be sexy. Right, for those of us with a lure, that just me, switch it on. Bang, a lure. Alert, be alert. You'll know when it's 
a thing. So get a, this is a thing signal. <laughs> how did she, how does it become a thing? So never going to be a thing with a sort of half hopping. What am I doing? I look like a thunderbird who needs a wee. Christine, I'm so never getting a boyfriend. Why do, come on, Miranda. Oh. Yeah, maybe this is a fit. Hi. I'm pretty good at farm noises. Yeah. Let's do a tractor. That's a lot of things. Excuse me, lady, you're popping out. You've got a loose boob. Hi, are you the news reporter? Michael Jackford. Reporting from a nightclub, he's 20 years too old to attend. Uh, do, do you want a, um... Oh, wait for it, I, I can be down with it. A Alco Pop? I think I'm ready to claim my gym jams. Why are you enduring this? Uh, it's a, a, a work colleague, it's a leaving do. Couldn't avoid it. Uh, how about joining the Ute and getting a Mackie D's? Anything to get out of here. This will surprise you, little one. I've, uh, I've found them all. Get out! <laughs> surprise! How is this? A surprise face? This is a face of terror from a sudden mock arrest. Well, PC Miranda's a bit of surprise, isn't she? She's a bit feisty and confident with her <laughs> truncheon. <laughs> Spread your legs, please. Let's be on you. Now, just shush all round and no messing. I'm desperate to hear about last night. So, tell all. We stayed up till three. Me, up till three. And? And any kissing? We just talked. He obviously wasn't interested. Oh, no, hang on. Or he was, and you didn't see it was a thing and know how to play it. Well, how will I ever know how to play it? I mean, if only we were peacocks. He'd flash his feathers, I'd assume the position, we'd know where we were. <laughs> I just want to be with someone. Oh, only because of Gary and Rose. Stop being so jealous. She's not that bad. She jogs without a bra. <laughs> if I jog braless, it would look like I was smuggling ferrets in my armpits. <laughs> but it's not just Rose. I mean, it's hard being alone, isn't it? Even the cinema. You buy your popcorn, then you need the loo, then there's no-one to hold your popcorn, so you have to take it into the cubicle, which is weird. <laughs> you know what happened the last time? <laughs> Now, I need you to be on best behaviour for my campaign. So, don't get arrested, or tonight at my launch, try not to be there. <laughs> so, cool. Saw you with that man at the club. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bear with. Bear with. <laughs> Funny photo. <laughs> Um, how, did, how did that go? Well, there's always Benji. First cousin Benji. Um, <laughs> I'm the most beautiful goose. <laughs> no. And PC Miranda says that we, well, I, for we are one and the same, we shall have a boyfriend for Stevie's Come What You Wanted to Be when you were younger party. So, call Major Sex and his friend Colonel Pot. <laughs> If you have a boyfriend for Stevie's party, I shall fill my pants with custard and I shall do around 200 star jumps. <laughs> Darling, what are you going as? Well, when I was younger, I always wanted to be a piece of popcorn. <laughs> no, let me explain. You see, I loved the idea of bouncing... You'll understand. I loved the idea of bouncing about in a saucepan with my friends and then turning into something beautiful. You know... <laughs> Are you having a stroke? <laughs> um, hello again, Michael Jackford. Hello. I'm just doing my uh, police exercises. Uh, police exercise, uh, which uh, is a thing. We do, the police. Yeah. Um, the pigs, the filth. I'm a big old filthy pig. <laughs> now, 
I'm a special constable, a uh, volunteer police. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so that um, colleague who's leaving, I needed a gift, and when you mentioned the shop, I... Uh, but uh, you're busy, so don't worry. Yeah, see you. No! That totally was a thing! That was a thing? He didn't come in to buy. He came because it was a thing. Well, stop saying it's a thing, because if I know it's a thing, I won't cope. It's a thing, it's a thing! Oh. Hi again. Hello, hello, and good morning. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd find that gift, actually. Sure, yes. We have knick-knacks, knickety-knacks, knick-knackery-noo, and all manner of knicky-knacky-noodles. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a bit of a meal out of this. I'm sitting on something pointy. <laughs> I wondered if you wanted to go out tonight. First date in years! <laughs> She's desperate. <laughs> Work is sending me on a local job. I mean, it's usually Amdram or something, but it'd be nice to have company and maybe dinner. Shall I pick you up at 6.30? Great. Hello, things analysis. Yes, that was a thing. <laughs> we need a date summit immediately. Focus, or it'll go tits up. Ooh, sounds positive. <laughs> For to feel good inwardly, feel good outwardly. Oh. Feel good outwardly? Now, next item on my Jail agenda. Jail for anyone sporting a tattoo. <laughs> Come join. I'm holding a summit. Miranda's got a date. Hallelujah! <laughs> Sorry, confused. A man who's already spent time with you wants to see you again. Yeah. Oh, woe's own lairs! <laughs> right. Conversational tips. This year's laugh oh, no. is based on the song Price Tag by Jessica J. <laughs> I need your money, 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 forget about the price tag. Ha 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 
as can. You, <laughs> but you know, when you're buff. So what's left that bag and a clown outfit in the dressing room? Those are mine. What is it? Stop the music, thank you. And can you stop bopping? We're shopping, not bopping. Thank you very much. And this is not a clown outfit. It may look big, but that's because it's worn by the type of woman who sports something you may not have heard of called flesh. That's flesh. Because we like something called cake. Cake. You should try it. Unless you're young enough for lucky metabolisms, it won't last. Now, can everyone just leave, please? If you're heavy enough to make the automatic doors open, huddle together, jump as one. <laughs> just one little thing, please. Cashier number four, please. Who wants to do that? Why did you put henna on? I got the wrong bottle. I thought it was moustache, please. <laughs> put this on. Well, how is that going to help? Oh, these spanks are really hot. Open right the door. Oh, this is a good look, isn't it? At least they hold in the wobbly bobbly flash of it. Hi. Sorry, bit early. No, 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 no. I was just trying on a uh, this is a wetsuit because I am a scuba diver. <laughs> Call me quirky. <laughs> I'll be with you in a tickety mondo, my. <laughs> bound to be some ghastly posho who wants to ban hoodies from waitros. Okay. Why don't I wait next door? It would be a shame Cause... for me. Oh. Besides, my new boss is here. You'll help me impress him. Michael, hi. Hi. Um, Randa, this is Xavier, my boss. Hi. hi. I'm afraid we were just on the PM's attitude to economic growth. And don't get me started on inflation. <laughs> <laughs> People forget the macro implications of diverting resources from productivity. Diverting resources from productivity, yeah. Just repeat, sounds like you understand. <laughs> there will be another GDP downturn. Another GDP downturn, yeah. Must just point Percy at the porcelain. Must just point Percy at the porcelain. <laughs> what are you doing here? On my date! Don't, Don't say, say you're my mother. daughter. Worse, Worse for me! me. <laughs> OK. Hi! Hi. I'm... Penny, I'm running for council. Of course, hello. hello. Uh, this is Miranda. Hello, very nice to meet you. <laughs> is this your girlfriend? Well, uh, date. Well, <laughs> I've only just met Miranda, but my guess is she has great childbearing hips. <laughs> and in the right wedding dress, wouldn't look like a transvestite. <laughs> I can also say... Do you have to? I'd imagine that she's highly inexperienced, but would be most satisfactory once you bedded her in. <laughs> now, Penny, is it wise to have your daughter in such... <laughs> oh, you, you have a daughter? Oh, <laughs> but she's defo pants not here. <laughs> <laughs> and what does she think about your foray into politics? I imagine she's thrilled. I imagine she's mortified. <laughs> but then nothing's new. Her earliest memory was her parents playing naked Cluedo. No-one wants to see their father's Professor Plums. <laughs> You're looking very well, by the way. Be on holiday, diving trip. Oh, Miranda scuba dives. Does, Does she? she? Yes. <laughs> Where do you normally dive? In the sea. <laughs> normally in the sea. Seychelles. Shells. <laughs> I know where I recognise you from. I was shopping with my son earlier. You're that lingerie model. Is she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Penny, I gather you're keen on more police on the beat. Oh, Miranda would have an opinion on that. She volunteers as a special constable. <laughs> Does she? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. So, in light of the cuts, what do you think should happen with the police? Yes, what would the police say? They'd probably say, every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. <laughs> Don't say. Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. My poor heart aches. Stop there. Stop there. <laughs> You've been gone, I've been lost without a trace. Everybody, I dream at night, I can only see your face. I look around and join in. It's you I can't replace. I feel so cold and I long for you not joining. I just keep crying. 
crying, baby, baby, please. <laughs> Had to get to that bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, Mike, about dinner. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I appreciate it's hard to be in public with this. <laughs> Nay, it's so awesome. <laughs> and your exit move was like that, and then a kind of <laughs> oh dear. Thing is, Stevie, I really fancy him. I know it's silly. I've only just met him. But I just had this hunch about him that he got me. Oh, I'm sorry, Stevie. Have you checked your lottery ticket yet? <gasps> All the numbers match. You won the lottery. <laughs> so I won the lottery. <laughs> You didn't win the lottery. Just, oh, that's backfired. <laughs> Sylvanian family. I am going to get very short with you in a minute. <laughs> Already pretty short. Oh, sorry. Let's cheer with fancy dress. I'm desperate to try the fairy costume. Ooh. Well, hello, fairy Miranda. <laughs> She's a bit flirty and sexy, isn't she? <laughs> Oh, I've got wings. <laughs> Not in a feminine hygiene way. <laughs> in a sort of slutty moth, you know. <laughs> oh, one, dear, yeah, nice. Hi, I can make your dreams and wishes come true. <laughs> Maybe you will. <laughs> nice dress. So, very. What are you doing here? Yeah, last night was kind of weird, but, um... Well, something in me needs to work you out. Call me Marple. Marple? <laughs> of all the detectives. <laughs> Plus, I really fancy you. So, how about tonight? Tonight, two wishes might be granted. I shall dig out my little black dress. Go, slutty moth! She's desperate! <laughs> little black dress, eh? Inadvertently played a blinder. Inadvertently played a blinder. It's too hard. hard. Got a second date. Got a second. <gasps> I said I'd get the little black dress. How will I? Oh, I'm too scared to go back to those spindly boppy shoppers. How will I? How? How? Focus. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> Move along, please. Can't bear a street door. Put it over if you want to text. Don't ruin the adult face flow. <laughs> Let's be having him. Oh, right. oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. Tax evasion is fine, really. Monaco is such fun. Principal Paul, what are you doing? Need a black dress? I got a second date. <laughs> Let PC Miranda deal with this. Thank you. Uh, move aside, please. You are causing a breach of the peace. I will use my powers of arrest, though it suits me. <laughs> You're under arrest, madam. Yeah, good one. Where'd you get your cosies from? It's fun, isn't it? I'm arresting you on suspicion of impersonating a police officer. It's less fun now. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you fail. Ooh! Your truncheon doesn't squeak, if you pardon. You mentioned when questioned something you may later rely on in court. Real arrest! I don't know if it's exciting or scary. <laughs> Real gun! Scary! Oh! Scary! <laughs> Although man in uniform's quite exciting. <laughs> No, scary. It is scary, cos it's all a bit... Ah! <laughs> so, you say that this is a fancy dress outfit? Yes, so we had a new range of fancy dress in my shop, and, um... Sorry, does this officer ever speak? The silent stare is quite off-putting. <laughs> you suddenly going to shine a lamp in my face, and I'll go, you'll get nothing out of me, pig, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I am acting as my daughter's counsel. <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> officer... I plead to your hearts. This woman has a second date tonight. These don't get second dates. Yes, thank you. She was frisked twice at Gatwick last year and still calls it a holiday romance. <laughs> Take pity. She needs to be done by about, shall we say, what I call four o'clock. We really do all call it four o'clock. <laughs> Look, just check these details are correct and sign. Oh, good. We're filing quickly. And then bail? Yeah, most likely. Most likely. But she's never been arrested before. No criminal activity. That's not strictly true. You do have form. Thank you very much. <laughs> not a compliment, madam. <gasps> Don't get some cheese, Davis. 
quote. I feel confident as PC Miranda and flirty as fairy Miranda. <laughs> I'll go and see if the sergeant's available. Charlie, swap clothes with me. No, I'm not looking like an extra in Midsummer Murders. Just do it. <laughs> I'll say it was me who was arrested to the sergeant. Ma'am, you can't. At least you'll have an amusing story for your date. But if you're arrested, your political career is over. Your love life is more important. Oh, mommy! <laughs> this second date can't go wrong. <laughs> Sarge, it was me what done it. You're wasting your breath, copper. I ain't yakking. Go, son, go. <laughs> now, Sarge, I want a fag. I have rights. <laughs> uh, such fun. Just staying in and avoiding youth in bars. <laughs> you look lovely. I didn't get the dress, but thank you. So, I've got an amusing story for you, but how was your day? Oh, had an argument before I left work. Xavier wanted me to talk to the police about someone arrested for impersonating a police officer. <laughs> I refused. I thought, local nutter alert. What was your story? They weren't my curtains. <laughs> <laughs> so, quirky. Couldn't resist. <laughs> so, questions, if I may? Yes, Marple. Oh, I'd hate you to think I was a nutter after last night. Madam, you're still under arrest for impersonating a police officer. <laughs> you were the impersonator. And escaping custody. Oh, yeah. We did notice that you'd swap places with your mother. <laughs> That's your mother. My imaginary night. What's Stevie's surprise face going to be? Bye, Quirky. Oh, I'm sorry I left last night. I'm kind of hoping there's an explanation. And I can't judge anyone on their mum. Oh, please don't. Turns out my mother wanted to be Cher. <laughs> Such fun! I certainly wouldn't want anyone judging me on my dad. That was the real you in the club that night, wasn't it? I thought so. Oh, Gary, you haven't met. Um, this is Mike, my... Boyfriend? Oh, I'm an idiot. Too soon. I had a hunch and I thought, go for it. Sorry. Backtrack. No. No, I'm also with hunch. This is Mike. My boyfriend! <laughs> Yeah.